Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Well, guys, I'm back from a camping trip. I just want to thank all y'all who tuned in to my videos while I wasn't here. I had a lot of them, had most of them uh, already scheduled. And, uh, but I did do one down there, mainly because I want to give a shout out to a, a YouTube channel called Deep South Cutler and Outdoors. Great group of men, great knives and great times. Uh, that channel is a whole lot of fun. I've learned a lot from them already. They have the most unique and rare case knives I've ever seen. They have old ones and they have new ones. And uh, they have auctions on uh, Thursday nights on Facebook. And I can't wait for this Thursday because I'm going to be on there. I might even buy a knife or two. Uh, I, I just love those guys. You got Preacher. He's the owner of the, the business. And you got Kevin. He's uh, he's he's something else now. He's a... Uh, He's funny. He really is. Uh, it's just a great show. Great family-oriented show on there. So, y'all check them out. It's again. It's called Deep South Cutlery Outdoors. I'll leave a link to the channel in this video description. Y'all go over there and, and tell them the doc sent you. And uh, I guarantee you will not be disappointed because I've learned a lot already. I didn't know Case made Damascus knives. I didn't even know Case uh, had some type of system that they treat the blade. It's called pvd or pvb or something like that but anyway it's where they vacuum seal and pressurize a blades where they they don't they're very highly scratch resistant where they don't they said it's almost indestructible so that's very cool i didn't know case done that and they know so much about the handles and the different types of bone it's, it's amazing uh, they're really good to sit down and listen to. If you want to learn about case knives or any other knife, they're the channel to go to. I'm telling you, they, they know their stuff. And a great group of men. They profess the Lord, and it's a very family-oriented show. It really is. Great show. Anyway, guys, it's going to be a great day in the workshop today. I got me some coffee, and we're going to be working on a little old-timer, a little trapper, uh, and it's a lock blade. I think it's a 194T. Let me see. I'm going to get the sand paper real quick and tell you the exact model. Yeah, I think it is a 194T. See there, right there. But it's got a broke blade here. But one thing I like about these, they're great EDC knives. It's got that lock blade in it, and uh, just love little, little lock blades like this. But it ain't a pry bar. See that? That's what you get when you pry on that tip. It's going to snap like that. It really is. You need a screwdriver for that. Or, what I like to carry is the this right here. The Leatherman T2 Free. It's got a pry bar in it, believe it or not very thick very strong it's got a little blade right right here for a package opener it's got a flat tip screwdriver but see how thick that is that's why they call this a pry bar very thick you don't ply with that uh blade because that ain't what it's made for the very end of that blade is so thin it's gonna pop just like that I'm glad folks do it because it keeps me in business. <laughs> it keeps me uh, something to do because I love to find a broke tip knife and, and make it usable again. I like saving knives of old knives. And somebody called me a knife saver the other day, you know, like a lifesaver. So I'm a knife saver. <laughs> I like that. So I like saving lives of old knives and I'm a knife saver. So very cool. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, again, this is a 194T right here. And what we're going to do, guys, is come from the top down, from that corner. We're going to curve it down. We're going to give it the traditional uh, clip point blade look again. And again, guys, it's a liner lock. I like that. But we're just going to give it a good cleaning. It's going to look real good when we're done. The blade is really broke deep, so the tip is going to be very 
thick up here so we wanted to give it a new good little edge right there we're going to work on that edge a bit but ain't no problem though we'll get it done so what we're going to do is take it over there in that my little three inch bench grinder on the fiber wheel and we're going to clean it up i'm going to get all this stuff off the blade it's going to be some patina left on there but it'll be, it'll be all right Shot it jump. I forgot to hit the handle with my wire brush here. When you're doing the handles with the wire brush, you need to put it on low speed. About right there, because it will melt this if you ain't careful now. What we're gonna do now is give it a new point right there. So we're gonna again come from the top down. Then we'll have to give it a new edge. Okay, first, never dull. Just use an old piece, it'd be fine. Saturday and Saturday night, mostly clear. Result, use extra caution when driving. 
especially if operating in 50 degrees, dew point 43, relative humidity 70 miles an hour. Atlanta, it was cloudy, 47 degrees, windies at 17 miles an hour, gusting to 26 miles an hour. Mariana, it was cloudy, 53 degrees, windies at 9 miles an hour. Troy, it was cloudy, 53 degrees, windies at 9 miles an hour, gusting to 22 miles an hour. A wind advisory is in effect until 2 p.m. Tuesday across portions of North and West Georgia. Southeasterly winds of 15 to 20 miles per hour are expected with gusts of 35 to 40 miles per hour. Okay, guys, here it is. The 194T Old Timer Shrade. Check that bad boy out. Ain't got a good looking blade. I gave it a nice new edge on that thing. And it's sharp now. I gotta hone it in with my work sharp sharpener. But I love that little lock blade. It is right there. Shrade USA, baby. 194 OT. Beautiful, ain't it? I bought this knife for a little less than 10 bucks. I bought six items for 50 bucks over at uh, Peaches to Beaches, and this was, was one of them. So it's a good buy. But that blade looks good, don't it? Check that out. It's got some patina on that. See that? Very cool. But uh, it cleaned up good now. See it right there? It's got a good snap. It's just clean on the inside. It's a beautiful, beautiful knife. I love it, man. I might even carry it for a little while. I like it. A lot. As a matter of fact, this joker is going in my pocket for at least a week or two. I love it, man. That blade turned out really good. Nice new edge. Again, guys, whenever you, when, whenever there's a break like that, whenever you come from the bottom up, it's going to be thick up here. So you really got to grind that down, sand it down pretty good to get that edge back because it, it's rounded. But it's got a good edge now, I'm going to tell you. But I gotta hone it in with uh, my work sharp sharpener. But it's a beautiful knife now. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Uh, I love working on this type of stuff. I really do. Turning a broken tip knife that people, other people consider it as junk, and buying it. A good price and then you got a great pocket knife guys you really do that's usa made too it really is good little po pocket knife now but i love doing that i really do and uh i just want to thank all y'all for tuning in again guys i can't stress enough y'all go over to deep south cutlery and outdoors check them out great group of men who loves knives and, and loves to have great times. So uh, they're, they're a lot of fun to watch. They really are. And Kevin, uh, he calls a, he refers to a uh, expensive knife. That ain't no cheap date there. <laughs> I like that. That ain't no cheap date there. You know, just stuff like that. They, they have sayings on that that I really love. So y'all check them out. Deep South Cutler and Outdoors. But anyway, guys. I uh, want to thank all y'all for tuning in today, guys. And it's good to be back. You know, it's it's good to go get away and for a few days. But I'm gonna tell you, it's great to get back home. It really is. I really enjoyed that camping trip. Uh, but I'm glad, so glad to be back home. In about another month, I'll go again. But uh, it's always good to go away. But it's great to get back home. You know. So anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all again for tuning in. I just want to say. I appreciate all the views, all the subscribers. Thank y'all so much. And I just want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. Uh -huh.